can I ask you, first of all, um, whether you are prepared to shift at all on this very vexed question of the backstop? Well, I mean, the straight answer to that is that the backstop is already a compromise. It's a series of compromises uh, that it was designed around British red lines. So, I mean, don't forget, mm. initially, uh, it was an agreement between the EU and the UK that there was a need for a fallback or an insurance mechanism to reassure sure. people in Northern Ireland. When the EU then designed what became known as the backstop on the back of that political commitment more than a year ago, uh, the British Prime Minister said she didn't like it uh, and she needed it changed. Uh, and so it was redesigned. Uh, it was Britain who actually asked that the backstop would be UK wide on customs sure. in terms of creating this concept of a single customs territory. It but was the UK that insisted on a review mechanisms for the backstop so that it could be changed okay. or removed if everybody agreed to that. And we, we have the very need for the we backstop in the yeah. first place was because of British red lines that they wanted to okay. leave the customs union and single market as well as the European Union. But, so the but, Irish position but. is, look, we have already agreed to a series of compromises here, uh, and that has resulted in uh, what is proposed in the withdrawal agreement. And Ireland uh, has the same position as the European Union now, I think, when we say that uh, the backstop as part of a withdrawal agreement, okay. is part of a balanced package that isn't going to change. It's not going to change, but it, ha it is now dead. I mean, the, back the withdrawal agreement with the backstop was defeated by 230 votes. Government went down to a historic defeat in the House of Commons. That withdrawal agreement, no, as Andrew. it is, is dead. No, Andrew, that's not true. Uh, what was defeated in the House of Commons uh, was a refusal to... Uh, to ratify a package which involved a withdrawal agreement, which, yes, includes the backstop, but Critically also a future relationship declaration. Uh, and so it's the balance of the two well. of those things that I think we need to be looking at now. You know, if you look at the withdrawal agreement, it's actually not that controversial. It's about protecting citizens' rights, British Ooh. citizens across the EU. It's about a financial settlement. It's about but, creating the time and space for a transition period for politicians and businesses back, to prepare backstop. for new realities. And it's about protecting a peace process, which I believe the Prime Minister is deeply committed to. And even three weeks ago on your show, uh, she made it very clear why there was a need for a backstop, because we can't talk about not wanting border infrastructure without actually providing the practicalities that make that real. And that's what the backstop is about. The problem mm. uh, with arguing against the okay. backstop is that nobody yet who argues against that insurance mechanism, which may, by the way, never be used if the future relationship is comprehensive mm. enough to avoid it. Uh, but the problem with the argument is that nobody has come up uh, with a pragmatic, sensible and legally sound way of avoiding border infrastructure re-emerging between the two jurisdictions on the island of Ireland. Well, uh, and that is why it took two years to get the backstop agreed. And that is why I believe the Prime Minister is correct when she defends it.